Last time we left the marina on a rainy day, going north, getting ourselves into trouble along the way. Do you want to explain why we turned the boat upside down again? Um, because the engine started to fail. It's, um, almost stopped. So I uh, think it's something with the diesel. Something to do with the diesel fuel. So we're starting with the filters and uh, working our way back from there to the tank. Yesterday we did eight nautical miles. Yes. And she went from 1950 RPMs to 1700. Yeah, it's a drop. Several times. Yeah. So we're gonna check the um, big Your filters. filters. Yes. Mm. And then go back to the tank to see if there is eventually something there. Yeah. And it's have occurred when this time when we are going lower on fuel, we are now uh, half tank, half full. So, uh, and it was full, we didn't uh, notice anything. It might be the filling cap that is leaking. I've heard it from mm. other boats that they have that problem and eventually they, they get more and more water in the diesel tank. And when you get low on fuel, you, uh, that problem occurs. But we don't know. We know that we had diesel bugs before, mm. and uh, that might, we don't know, we have filled in good places. Uh, yeah. The turnover on diesel fuel is very high, but there's no guarantee. So let's see the filter. Yeah. Check it for water first. My goodness! Holy mother of... Is it water? Yeah. Mm. It seems like a lot, but maybe I'm wrong. The truth is that one third of yeah. that cup is water. Yeah. You can see if, you, if I move it slower and don't shake it too much. It's important to have this. You mm. might see the there's several small bubbles of what you call it. There's one big mm. almost taking up like seventy percent of the bottom. You see it? So somewhere in this fall we need to clear out the tank completely. Mm. And, uh, but what amazing, how did this water get there? Uh, the uh, date of the fuel filter is 25th of April this year and we did all the filters and emptied the tank in. Mm. So we're gonna check the uh, o-ring on the diesel cap and we need to empty the tank for the enormous amount of water. Yeah, seems like that but since April we haven't used mo no more than one tank. With that said, um, the place we do fill the tank has had quite a bit of problems. Yeah, yeah. we might change the filter. Absolutely. So we start up with that. I'm a dumpster diver. Again. <laughs> I'm always diving into the dumpsters. Today we um, have emptied out some uh, shite from the diesel tank. 
and uh, we've um, changed to one of the filters. Um, the same is the same. We still have a drop in the RPM. We thought it was uh, the diesel, whether we had some water or whatever, which we did, but not too bad. It has been worse. So we changed the um, first filter for the diesel, the uh, not the finest, and it occurred that there is a O-ring, which we missed probably for several years. And that is why I had to dumpster dive because of that little bugger. Yep. And we hope that this is the problem. Yeah, destroying air. We, we have uh, started the motor and uh, it's actually like sucking up air. Yeah, into the fuel system. And we can't get rid of it. No. You get so, rid of it and it comes again. So we think that this one is the one that has well, caused the problem. We hope. We hope. We find out in part two. And we will find the answer. Hey. <laughs> and we cannot stay here forever. No. But today, totally uh, grey and rainy. So this is an okay day for us to be in harbor. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I think we'll start with that, this one. And if this one turns out to be the cause of the problem, that would be okay. Then I'm a very proud dumpster diver yes. who wants more. Yep, let's get to it. I think we need to do some explanation. <laughs> we just uh, stepped off from the ferry, took the ferry over to the Lofen Islands. Um, there's several reasons for that. We are in Svolvær. Why is that going? Because we screwed up the engine. You pretty much did. <laughs> what happened? You saw that uh, we did have some air in uh, the diesel fuel to the motor. And Edwoger was so happy because we fixed the problem with the O-ring, taking the air in. He actually destroyed the threads yeah. on the bolt or yeah, in the engine? No, no, only been the box, that's the really boat <laughs> in the engine. Yeah. And now we're here to buy some repair kits. The lucky thing though is that because of the virus the ferry didn't cost us anything so the repair kit will be free and we will in addition to that get some wine for the same price as the tickets for the ferry so we're pretty happy now <laughs> <laughs> screw up the engine more time So this is take 10. The uh, RPM problem is still there. Um, so we need to do everything all over again to add some uh, more stuff to try out. First of all, cleaning out the aft cabin. We totally believed in what we did. Uh, yesterday with the uh, air suction in the motor and the, or in the diesel fuel um, This is no fun uh, we like to use the boat. We don't want to spend days and days at the pontoon to try to fix things that doesn't work 
have to do it. We have to get it to work, but uh, we'll see. By the end of the day, we're gonna have an answer for that. So this is the filter once more. And the boat again smells of diesel fuel. Yeah. Mm. So the plan is to take out the tube from the diesel tank in the locker and disconnect everything. The roger is gonna blow from that side through the tube coming out to this filter to yeah. see if there is something blocking that yeah. side. We did have a diesel bug problem uh, some years ago and there are still remains from yeah. that coming out. And some traces of water. <laughs> Luckily they do have a diesel dock yeah, <laughs> at yeah, this yeah, place. Yeah. So we are about 25% uh, left in the tank. So the sailboat life is not all about beautiful sunsets and uh, white sandy beaches. There is also a lot of this. This is no fun. The sunsets and the sandy beaches are fun. ut förbi stigröret. Ja ja, det är för att du har lite lyft det kan stiga. Ja. 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 Um, big first filter and the tank and uh, now we're off into the engine we're gonna fix the um, bolts that Roger made a mess of yesterday and we're gonna try to locate a small filter for the um, pump up there and uh, what else we're gonna change the um, main fuel filter on the motor then we have done whatever we can and uh, we'll see <laughs> it's another exciting day We bought this set. It's called a. What did it say? Tap and die set? Don't know. It's um, for us to use to um, fix the thread on the motor. For the. We learned a new word purge screw. finished everything and we changed the um, finest filter and turns out there's quite a bit of water also there so we believe that we have had multiple problems and uh, let's hope that we uh, found a solution Hoping, hoping, hoping. 
otherwise there's a small shipyard in the community <laughs> next to us <laughs> so we'll see so he's just uh, getting the air out of the system filling up the filters Thank <laughs> you. 